Hey guys, and welcome back. So, I am doing a pregnancy must-have videos. I know a lot of people have like the whole newborn must-have videos and they tell you what they need for their newborn, but no joke, I had a hard time coming across a few pretty good pregnancy must-have videos, so I thought that I would film one for you guys. Um, and literally this is stuff that I used a lot during my pregnancy and I could not live without, um, like up to this moment. <laughs> um, so we're going to jump into it. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and let's get to it. So my number one must have pregnancy item that I've needed all of my pregnancies <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite, even when I'm not pregnant, is the Mederma Stretch Mark Therapy Cream. You can get it from Walmart, Target, Walgreens. Um, this tube alone, I know people say that it's a little expensive, but this tube alone has lasted me my entire pregnancy. Um, and I've bought in one tube for each pregnancy and it's lasted the whole time. Just one tube. You put it on twice a day, one in the morning, one at night. Um, lay there on as much as you want. <laughs> um, I put it everywhere, all over my belly, um, my breast, because you get stretch marks in those places. Wherever you get stretch marks, you want them there. You even can apply it before you even get those stretch marks to help prevent them, um, which is what I did. So I don't know if that's why my stretch marks are maybe getting worse now toward the end, um, but I swear by this. I love Mederma. Um, no joke, I can't live without this product. I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> freaking love it. Um, my next must have pregnancy um, item is the belly support band. I'm this brand is the Loving Comfort Maternity Support. I got it from Bye Bye Baby. It is very used. <laughs> um, it just it's got three parts to it. So this is for back support and you just wrap it around your back like this. And I've told you guys multiple times that I've had it and I've worn it. You can see <laughs> it's very used. Um, this is for back support and like you don't have to wear all of all three parts if you don't need to or if you don't want to. Um, I didn't always, but this is for back support. This is basically the first piece that you would put on. Um, this is the belly, the belly support. Um, so what you would do is just put this right underneath your belly to help pick it up. And you would, whoa, it's sticking to me. <laughs> um, you just wrap this piece all the way around until it was tight enough to your comfort. As you can see, I used it a lot. <laughs> and I still do. Um, and then it's got this one last band that ugh, just sticks, okay, <laughs> but just sticks to the back support. This goes on top of your belly to help just hold it all together um, and just give it that extra support and it just connects to the side of your back support. Um, and no joke, I know a few people um, have tried different brands, different kinds. I have diastasis recti, which means I have no muscle support, abdominal support in my stomach. <laughs> um, it is stretched out, they're torn. So I have a lot, a lot of back pain every day. Um, and cleaning and whatever else. It doesn't make the pain necessarily go away. Um, it does ease it while you're wearing this. But let me tell you, once you take it off, you're gonna feel 
all the pressure, all the pain, all the weight. This definitely helped me and I'm happy that I had it. Did I wear it all the time? No, I'm being honest. But, cause it, it can be very uncomfortable. You can feel very hot. Um, and I think baby alone felt a little irritated and tight <laughs> in there. I'm a small person, so it's already tight in there. Um, but I'm really happy I had this. And if I didn't, I'm pretty sure my back pain would be way worse. And I, I can't imagine. I can't. So this has to do with the beginning of pregnancy, um, which is called the C-band. The C-bands were awesome when it came to nausea. Here, whoop, I have them in my drawer. <laughs> Here are the C-bands. You can get them from Walmart. These came from Walmart. Um, they're tiny, very, very tiny, but they stretch a whole lot. What it does is it's actually acupuncture and I didn't think it was going to work, but you just put it on your wrist. It look, it's got a little bead like, like this. You just put it on your wrist. You bring it down just a little bit. It tells you, I think like you take your two fingers and go like that. Um, so you take your two fingers and that's where you wanna place it. Um, and let me tell you, it got me through my whole first trimester. Without these, I was terribly sick. So if you have bad nausea, um, even if you get sick like on a road trip or on planes or for whatever reason you're just nauseated, these are good to have. I'm not getting rid of these. These are really good to have. Um, and I swear to you, they work. Next item I have is body lotion. My skin was like really oily at the beginning, very dry, then oily, and now we're back to dry. <laughs> um, this body lotion is actually from Lush, and it is the Charity Pot Hand and Body Lotion. Um, it is a floral mo moisturizer that supports grassroots charities. They have tons of different body lotions and whatnot. I love Lush. <laughs> I love their bath bombs. Um, but I, I absolutely fell in love with this. Like, it's so thick. And it keeps you just moisturized. And you can get a lot out of this. I bought this way back at the beginning of my pregnancy. I was probably <sighs> two or three months pregnant when I bought it. And now we're almost out. So... I would say that's not so bad. And I put it on just about every day all over my hands. My feet, it smells so good. <laughs> my hands, my feet, my back, everywhere. Um, I loved this. And just a good lotion that moisturized your skin is what I needed. This item is a little TMI. <laughs> but it's part of pregnancy and we're going to talk about it. We women get a lot of discharge. <laughs> um, and I guess we're kind of, depending on the kind of woman you are, but most women are kind of used to discharge. Like that's a normal thing, an everyday normal thing. But when you're pregnant, it increases and it is gross. <laughs> um, it is gross because the color not only changes, but the amount changes, the texture changes, and then you have the problem of baby either kicking or laying their head on your bladder and now you're peeing yourself. So, um, whether I'm pregnant or not, I have um, panty liners. I like the Always Thin brand, um, but, I always have this big pack for whatever it is, whether you're sweating down there or you think your period may come um, or whatnot. I always have a pack on me. Um, and I like the bigger pack because it doesn't go by as fast. But during pregnancy, these have really came in handy when it came to either just sweating or um, 
having discharge or just wearing them because you might have an accident. <laughs> and let me tell you, I can now say that I'm happy I've had it every day because <laughs> I'd be doing a lot more laundry <laughs> if I didn't. So panty liners have been a must have for me. <laughs> um, and they're not going anywhere, I can tell you that much. Now, the other item I have is a water bottle. Because not only are you pregnant and you should be hydrating yourself, but it's very good to stay hydrated. Um, with Sebastian, I had a lot of kidney infections. And this time, I didn't want the same thing to happen. I was very, very worried about that. Um, and you know you're really hydrated depending on the color of your pee. <laughs> so in my head, I've always thought to myself, um, and I guess it just kind of like, it, it was like a good motivation. I wanted to go to the doctor's office and that's really gross for any guys who are listening or women who don't have kids have never been pregnant before or have been to the gynecologist before. But when you go, they ask you to pee in a cup and they tell you whether it's to hand them the cup or whatever. Most of the time they have this little cabinet in the bathroom that you put the cup into. And usually there's other women's urine samples in there as well. Um, and I have seen everything. <laughs> I've seen everything, especially this pregnancy. I swear I've seen everything at the doctor's office. <laughs> not very pleasant things but you see every color urine from like dark orange to like orangey brown colors to like yellow mustardy looking colors like ugh. then you see where it looks like somebody literally poured water into it um and if you're hydrated like you should be then your urine should look like somebody poured water into that urine sample. And that has been my goal. My goal is to go to the doctor's office and have clear water looking <laughs> urine. <laughs> and I've been successful. <laughs> but it's because of the big cup. Because of the big cup. I don't use small cups and now I'm just like thirsty all the time. Um, so now I just think I started this really bad habit, but it's really good to stay hydrated. Um, but this cup helped me because it has 32 ounces. Whether you have a big tumbler or whatever, I recommend a big cup. So guys, that was my pregnancy must have. Nothing crazy. I didn't need a ton of stuff, but these were literally the items that I needed to survive these last nine months that I just can't survive without. If you took it away from me now, I, I might ha have an anxiety attack. I <laughs> uh, hope that you guys liked that video and enjoyed it. I will have everything linked down below for you guys. Um, if you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.